I love Italian biscuits, especially the almonds, but shh, don't tell anybody. Year nines, today we're cooking Italian biscuits. So we need a baking tray with baking paper on it. We need a quarter of a cup of caster sugar, 125 grams of butter. Now I've just softened it in the microwave for 15 to 20 seconds. Don't melt it because it just doesn't cream up properly. I need an egg yolk, so I'll need to separate the yolk from the egg, uh, egg white. The zest of an orange. Now you can use a zester like this, or you can use this part of the grater, the very fine one. I'm going to have uh, 60 grams of almonds, which is roughly uh, mm, about a quarter of a cup. Um, 60 grams of almonds, which I just said, one cup of plain flour, and then a couple of tablespoons of icing sugar for dusting at the end. Now, if you don't like nuts, you don't, haven't got any nuts, allergic to nuts, then don't use them. You can put chocolate chips in instead. So let's get started. Oh, just wanted to tell you we have an electric beater. Make sure you give it a good wipe down and the cord when you are finished. My oven is on at 180 degrees and it's ready to go. So let's get started. I'm grating my orange zest. Now, as you can see, I haven't gone down into the pith. So it's just one, two, turn, one, two, turn, <laughs> turn. Turn, turn, and then you get your zest off the back and off the front. So don't go into any more than just a couple of up and down. So I've got my egg separated. The egg white you could use for a meringue, or what I do, I give it to my dog. He loves some egg white. Um, so I have my orange, I have my flour, and I have my um, uh, icing sugar. So now your nuts. So I've already cut them up finely. It's going to take time, so you have to be patient. So with the tip, you hold it, and with the handle, it's an up and down motion. Now, it does take time, or if you've got a bullet, or if you want to put it in some other machine you've got, you can, you can blitz them. But my philosophy is, if I've got a knife and a chopping board, that's all I need to use. Unless I want to wash a whole lot of other equipment that I don't really want to have to wash up and the worst part is drying and then putting it all away so a knife is your best friend in the kitchen so that's finely enough for me I don't mind them a little bit crunchy as I said you don't have to put nuts in so we've got our butter and we've got our sugar and I'm going to beat that up and cream it We don't need it um, aerated as much as for a cake because these are biscuits, but the main thing is that you do cream that butter and sugar. So make sure you get it all off because that's another biscuit in there at least. Can't waste that. So now this is unusual because we're not actually beating in the egg yolk, which is what we normally do. We're actually just going to fold it in with our lemon rind. So we're just going to, they said with the wooden spoon, but I always use my spatula. So we mix that around. Beautiful. And then we add our nuts. Stir that around. And then we add our flour. And you think, oh, it's going to be too dry, it's going to be too dry. But give it a go. You've got to get in there and mix it first. So it's coming together. 
together really well. So, I always at this point, with most biscuits, you get your hands in there and you finish them off. Because the warmth of your hand keeps that butter nice and warm and helps combine the ingredients. Hey, look, hey, we've come together really well. So I'll grab my tray. Now try and keep them all the same size. Some of you have huge ones and you have little ones. But try and have them all about the same size. So if you start off with about this size, keep the consistency right. Now, I like my biscuits to be in, in like a crescent shape because traditionally that's what they are. I know the recipe says to put them in balls and flatten them, but that's more like a traditional yo-yo rather than a Italian biscuit. So we put them in crescents and I'll finish doing that and then they'll go in the oven for roughly 12 to 15 minutes. And then I would rotate them halfway through the cooking. So I will finish off in a minute and then I'll show you the end product. There we go, the bickies are finished. Didn't they look delicious? Um, so it's up to you whether you make them into the crescents, which is like a moon shape, or you um, make them into the yo-yo traditional looking one. But I like the crescents. I think they look really effective. Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia. Italian biscuits, yeah.